Dreamers and welcome back to my channel. So, nandito na tayo ngayon sa second part ng ating Qatar Airways Get Ready With Me edition. So, today nandito tayo sa part na isashare ko sa inyo yung tips and step-by-step uh, -step procedure ng interview ng Qatar Airways. So, if you wanna know the step-by-step -step guide ng Qatar Airways cabin crew application, then just keep on watching. So, first of all, sa pag-apply mo ng Qatar Airways, meron kang two ways to apply. First is kapag meron silang open day, Open day means pupunta ka, magsiset sila ng isang date na open for everyone, na pwede pumunta kahit sino pwede mag-apply. Kung baga, parang open to all. Open days, open to all. And second way na pwede ka mag-apply is through online application na shortlisted or invited only applicants yung uh, recruitment drive na gaganapin nila dito sa Manila. So, usually yun ang ginagawa nila lately. Kasi dati, nung mga first na nag-apply ako way back in 2014, 2015, 16, 17, usually open day yung ginagawa nila and yung open day dinadayo talaga siya ng libo-libo. I think, minimum siguro nun, mga 7,000 to 10,000, umaabot ng 10,000 applicants yung pumupunta dun sa open day na yun. And, sobrang Nagtatagal siya from 9, minsan na maabot na daw ng 9pm. So, 12 hours yung tinatagal nung open day nila. Eh, kaya siguro gumawa sila ng isa pang way which is shortlisted or invited only applicants. So, para mag-apply ka dun sa shortlisted or invited only is kailangan pasahan mo muna online yung opening nila and then screen na nila yung CV mo or yung resume mo. Titignan na nila kung qualified ka or Basta medyo easy screen lang nila ng mabilisan lang. And then, kapag nakapasa ka sa initial screening nila through online, you will receive an email invite. Indicated daw yung application or applicant number mo na very important kailangan. I-take note mo yon or isulat mo yun sa right hand side ng front page ng CV mo. Kasi um, they will track it dun sa kanilang online system. So, makaka-receive ka ng email. Laging email, not call, not text message, but email. Indicator doon kung saan gaganapin yung recruitment drive, kung anong oras, kung anong batch number ka. So, same lang yung step na mangyayari kay open day and kay shortlisted recruitment event. Ang difference lang noon kay shortlisted, medyo konti na lang yung tao. Kasi nga, parang medyo na screen na nila, hindi na siya open for everyone. So, First, ang kailangan unang-una mong tatandaan kapag pupunta ka ng open day is kailangan kompleto mo yung lahat ng requirements na pinapadala nila sa'yo. First, yung CV. Like what I've said before, mag-produce ka ng extra copies. Very important na meron kang extra copies. Yung applicant number mo, kahit open, usually kasi pag open day lang, naglalagay pa rin sila ng online application. So, kung nakapag-apply ka online, keep your application number intact. Or remember, tandaan mo yun or receive mo sa phone mo. Or isulat mo dun sa ibabaw ng, ng resume mo, like what I've said kanina. So, CV and I think pinapadala din nila ng photocopy ng passport. So, make sure you have a photocopy and your original passport with you. And yung good body and passport size na photo. Make sure na meron ka din nun bago ka pumunta sa recruitment drive. Okay, so ano ba nangyayari sa open day? Yung open day, kagaya sabi sa inyo kanina, di ba nagtatagal siya ng matagal kasi ang daming dumadayo, ang daming pupunta. Pero, sa open day or sa first day ng recruitment, minsan open day last two days, or basta yung initial step na yun, they call it CV drop-off. So, literally, from the name itself, itadrop mo lang yung CV mo. They will only give you around 1 to 2 minutes para ibigay mo sa kanila yung CV mo, give it your best shot, give it your best smile, give it your best first impression. Dahil sa 2 minutes na yun, doon na nila, majajudge ka na nila kung i-invite ka nila sa next step or not. So, ang mangyayari, iabot yeah, mo yung CV mo and meron silang itatanong sa'yo. So, meron lang silang 2 things na itatanong sa'yo. First is... Is it your first time applying with us? Or if not, when was your last application? Or how many times have you applied? Second is, what are you currently doing right now? So, those are the two questions na tinatanong nila. So far, sa four times sa pag-a-apply ko, consistent na yun lang talaga yung tinatanong nila sa akin sa CV drop-off. Kaya sabi sa inyo, a minute or two lang talaga siya. Sobrang, sobrang mabilis lang. And sa two minutes na yun, malalangan mo na kung pasado ka or not. So, kasi ganito yan. Usually that is, and sabi nila, uh, you will receive an email or a call or a text from us if you pass, blah, blah, blah. If ganun yung sinabi nila sa'yo, unfortunately, it means hindi ka nakapasa. Based on my experience, ha, ganun yung talaga yung na-try ko. 
kung ma- kung nakapasa ka malalaman mo agad agaran kasi bibigyan ka nila ng paper and halaga ito yung congratulations you've passed this step we are we are inviting you for an assessment day chan rin tomorrow ganyan ganyan on IPAM's office blah 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 blah, blah. so malalaman mo na then and there, kung pasado ka or not. Kapag nakareceive ka ng paper, pasado ka. Kung di ka nakareceive ng paper, pagsak ka. As easy as that. But, some of my friends naka-experience sila nang meron silang nareceive na email. Especially nung shortlisted event na ginagawa nila, hindi na open day. Email na talaga yung way of communication nila. Others nakareceive pa rin ng paper. Others nakareceive pa rin ng email. Mag-wait ka until the certain time na sinabi nila sa'yo. Like, sir, say for example, wait until 6pm for an email or a call na malalaman mo kung nakapasa ka or not. So, yun. Totoo naman yun. Kapag lumagpas na ng 6pm, wala ka pa rin natanggap na email, it means you were not able to make it. But, huwag ka mag kasi maraming, usually, yung nagkakaroon ng open days or ng shortlisted events si Qatar Airways every 3 to 4 months dito sa Manila. Minsan, meron din sa Cebu. So, kamawala ng pag-asa. Mag-reapply ka na lang ulit next time. Make sure na in those 1 to 2 minutes, they will feel na meron kang warm and pleasing personality. So, pag-abot mo, smile ka. Bati ka muna. Makipag-converse ka dun sa recruiter mo. Huwag ka mag- <laughs> Ganyan, parang natatakot ka. <laughs> Huwag naman ganoon, no? So, para makipag-converse ka, para sabi mo, Hi, ma'am, good morning. How was your flight here in Manila? How was your stay in, here in Manila so far? Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, para mag, makipag-converse ka, yun yung ginawa kong technique, eh, no? Tinry ko yun, natuloy yun yung ski crease. In fairness, naging effective siya, nakakuha ko ng paper right then and there. So, yun. So, keep on smiling and while you're answering the question na, yun nga, yung two questions na sabi ko sa inyo kanina, Mag-prepare na kayo ng sagot doon. So, isipin mo na yung kung ano sasabihin mo and see it habang you're... With, see it with your smiling face. Kung baga para makita nila na very warm and pleasing yung personality mo. Kasi very important yun sa job na yun. So, yun yung tip na bibigay, bah, bibigay ko sa inyo kung atin kayo ng open day or ng shortlisted event. And another tip is kung open day yung pupuntahan mo, sobrang agahan mo. Like... If the call time is 9am, pumunta ka na sa venue ng 6am. Kasi sobrang haba ng pila ka ganyan. Sabi sa inyo, nagtatagal siya ng entire day. Matagal yung proseso. So, kapag late ka pumunta or kapag saktong main ka pumunta, baka number 2,673 ka ng mga ganun. So, agahan mo yung punta mo. And kung shortlisted event naman, like for example, meron na yung specific time. May ang schedule mo, 9am to 10 p.m to 10 a.m. So, kung 9 yung schedule mo, agahan mo ng at least an hour nandun ka na ng 8 o'clock. Mas maganda ng maaga. So, yun. In short, mas maganda ng maaga kaysa late. Para maaga ka rin matapos. So, yun yung tips na mabibigay ko sa inyo sa open day. Agahan nyo and kapag nandun na kayo sa harap ng recruiter, give it your best shot, give it your best smile, and give it your best call. <laughs>